Okay, uh, dear colleagues, I would like us to continue today's uh, meeting of uh, Foreign Affairs Committee. Uh, I would like to welcome Mr. Pierre Vimon, Ex Executive Secretary General of the European External Action Service, who apologized for being a little bit late, but uh, as you can imagine, the Council took a little bit longer than uh, it was envisaged. Uh, today, after last week's ex ante debriefing uh, from Madame Mogherini, we will have the usual uh, debriefing from the actual deliberations of the Foreign Affairs Council, which took place actually until a few minutes ago. Uh, you are all familiar with the agenda. Tomorrow, uh, the debate will focus on the defense issues, so we will not touch this particular item of our interest uh, now, but I'm sure it will be discussed also in Afet and in Sede when the right moment comes. Uh, it would be important for us to hear uh, the main aspects and accents of the debate which the Council has had on Ukraine, because as you know, we also discussed uh, this item today with Ukraine's Foreign Minister Klimkin, and also to hear uh, what is the latest about the Middle East peace process, as well as the conclusion on Ebola, which is a priority for us, which will be also discussed next week at the plenary session in Strasbourg. Uh, also, I understand that there was a, a debate on the situation in Bosnia and Herzegovina after the elections, which took place on the 12th of October, and where the new uh, institutions are now being uh, put in place, the new presidency, as well as the parliaments on the national and cantonal level, where we have witnessed the, two initi the initiatives of the two ministers, the French and the, uh, sorry, the German and the, and the UK minister. Uh, what I would also like to mention and, and see if the Council has addressed the issue that is also linked to the region of Southeast Europe, namely as we have witnessed and my friend Edward Kukan follows very closely the debate currently in Serbia because after the ICTI has uh, released for humanitarian reasons accused war criminal Vojislav Šešel, he has been behaving absolutely unacceptably uh, in Serbia trying to put back into the public space the entire uh, war uh, rhetorics and the aspirations of greater Serbia vis-à-vis -vis all the countries in the region, and I think this deserves a condemnation not only by the Council, but I assume also by the European Parliament. These are uh, type of behavior that uh, temporarily released accused war criminal by ICTY should not be uh, undertaking in his uh, uh, sort of re recently gained temporary freedom, uh, which is completely um, disproportionate by anything we have seen so far. Uh, now I would like to give the word to Monsieur Vimon, and then we can have a debate. Monsieur Vimon, la parole est à vous, s'il vous plaît. 